Ugh. Coming up with a bunch of updates from our channel and finally settling on an official fluff dragon art drawing style has gotten me in a slump. Time to break free from the mold. Create something new. Shatter the glass ceiling. Oh, I know. We'll do a style challenge. Wait, no! What are you gonna do to me? Ah! Hello my fluffs, Lonnie your fluff dragon overlord here with your weekly character creations and speed art. If you like what you see, help me to continue making this content for free by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell. I'm not gonna lie, when the Lion Guard movie came out I was horrified. There were so many things wrong with it and it was such a slap in the face to the original movies that I simply refused to admit that it existed. But. I uh, have a morbid curiosity about cringy cartoons, so I decided to check it out anyways. It got better, not by leaps and bounds and it still has some serious flaws, but the animation improved a bit and I found myself actually caring about the main characters. Not Bunga. The honey badger drives me up a freaking wall and that takes a lot to do. I found myself rather enjoying the art style I believe someone once described as Marshmallow Simba. Lonnie would, of course, be a lion in this series as she's uh, too full of pride to be anything else. <laughs> okay, I'll show myself out now. It was rather difficult bringing an unnatural coloration to a naturally colored show, but I don't think it turned out half bad. How do you think Lonnie would fit into this show? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, while I haven't seen a full episode of this series yet, I absolutely fell in love with the style and the base characters the instant I saw a clip. Dolly reminded me a lot of the characters I'd write when I was just starting out. Tomboy, inventive, carefree, everything I wished to be as a child, but uh, honestly, I was much more of a Dylan. I was going to make Lonnie more oddball-esque and go with no spots but the ones she painted on herself, but uh, Lonnie doesn't hide who she is, so actual purple spots it was. I really love the disconnected line work of this animation style. It gives the show an appropriate air of chaos and roughness that reflects the lives of the main characters. Lonnie's earrings really stood out on this design as well. I actually think she and Dolly could easily hang out and get up to all kinds of mischief together. My family and I just finished watching the original DuckTales series because nostalgia. The cartoon is adorable, of course, but it can't even shine a light on the reboot. We're on the sixth episode already and we just started watching two days ago as of this recording. My family is hooked. The characters are well fleshed out, the story is multi-leveled and had every trick I'd wished My Little Pony had employed. I still love MLP, don't get me wrong, but they really dropped the ball on their villains, let's be honest. The overarching mystery, the relatability of, well, every character in the cast and the buttery smooth animation? Yeah, this one's a winner. When I was drawing Lonnie as a character in the series, I realized her mane slash mohawk kind of made her look like a rooster, but I was committed. No turning back now. Again, another series I've only been able to catch glimpses of, as we do not have Netflix or any other streaming service for that matter. Agretzko's style is one that I've studied extensively, however, and still get commission requests on a regular basis. I was simply surprised that I hadn't tried to draw Lonnie or any of my other OCs in this style before. But I have done puppets for an awesome review by Aramau the Fiery Secretary, Tricky Fox, Spirit Productions, and another by Zaldan Wolfgang as well. I'll leave the links in the description below. The chunky, bold line work is so much fun to work with, as well as the various body types each character has. I'll admit it's difficult to get Lonnie into any kind of proper anthro form with her elongated torso. She's supposed to look like a noodle, so she looks like a noodle. In an office setting, I picture our fluff overlord as kind of a Dwight Schrute. Wrong series, I know. Someone in a secondary position who plots to take over one day. And there are the four different styles of Lonnie. How do you think she'd fit into each show? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll pick my favorites to be featured in next week's video. Now for the winners of the planet ponies from two weeks ago that I couldn't get to until now, but I'm going to fulfill my promise, gosh darn it. Uranus. 
is named Dizzy Tilt, suggested by Kitsune Kao. Neptune is now named Azul Melody, suggested by Thundernote the Change Pony. Eris is now named Jinx, suggested by Jesse Barbo 6. And Pluto is now named Brimstone, suggested by Jake. Thank you so much for all your suggestions and your patience. You guys are absolutely amazing. A very special thank you to my patrons, especially Shadow Symbiote, Gigabit the Saved Gamer, Queen Haiku, Thundernote the Change Pony, and Sharpwit for their generosity and epicosity in supporting this channel. If you guys would like me to come to a convention near you and join an incredible group of people on my private Discord server, click the link in the description below. Stay fluffy, my friends. See you next time. <laughs>